soy Joel y Paul de movingtomexi.co Bienvenidos a nuestro canal y bienvenidos a Valle de Banderas. I thought I would do a complete Spanish introduction. Oh, that was Spanish. <laughs> I thought that was, it was uh, Mandarin. Oh, was it Mandarin? No. I'm kind of getting my, my languages mixed up here. Anyways, it was, that was actually a little hard because I'm so used to just doing the regular intro yeah, that, that it, I kind of like, it threw my cadence off there a bit. Well. But, you know, got to keep it fresh. Anyways, bienvenidos everybody. Welcome. We are back in Valle de Banderas where we have come before, where we had the most excellent tortas, which was just down there. Yeah, but then... Oh yeah, they're there. Yeah, they're there. They're not quite open yet. So yeah. I thought, well, I have this uh, bike tour going today, and we do this tour called the Tour del Valle. And I've kind of like switched it up. In the past, we used to do a tour to San Juan, a tour to Colomo, a tour to the Arroyo, a tour to the Fortuna. Now we just call it the Tour del Valle, and people choose how long they want to tour. You want to go on an hour ride, an hour and a half ride, a two hour ride, a three hour ride, and then I just create the route because we now have these like great gravel bikes that give us all these options to meander through all the gravel roads and then discover these amazing towns that are literally in our backyard. And this is a beautiful town. It is. I took some video coming in and- it's very like uh, colonial. Very colonial, yeah. yeah. And yeah, and just in the main paved road when you come in, it's just a big wide road. They got some nice beautiful homes there. So I got some video uh, of that you can throw in and Anyways, I thought, uh, well, why not show a little bit of uh, our, our, our followers what it's like to do a tour of the valley yeah. uh, on bike. So I, I'm going to have you guys go back and watch a little bit of the video that I took as, as we left. And then we're going to reconnect here for some tacos. And then we're going to let Paul go and edit this video and get on with his day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it is Taco Tuesday. Woo! What? 3.28. A.M. All right, good morning, everybody. We are here with Val and Keith from uh, Victoria. Edmonton. Oh, Edmonton, Jesus. What's wrong with me? There's too many people, like, uh, I think my mind is getting uh, moldy. Uh, Actually, you know, after two years of... We do stay two months a year in Victoria. Oh, that's true. Okay, so that counts then. I'm not 100% incorrect. But you are Canadian. Absolutely. And uh, this is your fourth time riding with us? This trip. No, I know, but uh, through all times, four years? Have you been? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is your fourth time riding with me this trip, and then uh, this Thursday you're doing a taco tour with Pepe. Absolutely. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right, so we're gonna go to uh, what we call Discover the Valle. We're gonna uh, we're gonna stop at Valle de Banderas, the little uh, town center, take some photos and grab some tacos, and then we're gonna hit the Arroyo. Sound good? Good. Sounds fantastic. Vamanos. Hey everybody, this is Joel from BC Boosterias and Velo Guide, uh, where Velo Guide connects you with a bike and a guide in over 70 countries around the world. So next time you're traveling, you want to get your ride on, uh, go to veloguide.com or download the app. Uh, you can find a local guide that can do exactly what I do, which you're going to see today. We're going to do a little ride through the Valle and uh, Valle de Banderas and we're actually going to go to town called Valle de Banderas and uh, make this part of moving to Mexico's Taco Tuesday and yeah you can kind of see how it is to ride like a local eat like a local drink like a local and the only real best way to do that is to connect with a local a local cyclist that knows all the best routes all the best food stops and away you go one of my favorite rides, and it's a ride for all levels. Uh, we call it the Tour del Valle. Starts at Pisa Busrias. We do a nice little neander through town. It's about a kilometer on the main strip. Uh, nice and quiet. Kind of gets the legs moving. We get to the end of uh, this road. We kind of pop underneath a bridge and hop onto a little bit of gravel for the first part of the ride, uh, which is pretty nice. And I'll grab a little video of that as well. All right, after a nice little uh, 900 meter kilometer, roughly a kilometer uh, ride along the main road, we just pop off along the Arroyo and we're coming to the Highway 200. We go under that and uh, then we're just going to do a little ride through town up into the Upper East Side, Upper East Side of Bucerias. All right, about a block later, uh, after turning on the Malacan, we uh, pop off on a little road that leads all the way uh, up to where Cuatro Estaciones is going to be, uh, right past Paul's Wine Bar, which, hey, we just uh, finished the draft drawings. 
check these out. Just a few more modifications that I want to do to it, uh, but the way we ended up <clears throat> Uh, figuring out the drawings was to create a, a one bed or a nice large studio lock off and then there's going to be a second studio lock off uh, as part of the uh, of the unit itself and really taking advantage of those ocean views this Rios goes on forever actually it's a very very big town that's why we're very bullish uh, about the development uh, up here just because of the landmass. All right another quick update we are uh, about three kilometers out of town again on the canal roads. Nice thing about this gravel is it's super smooth um, and again quiet we're gonna pop out on the highway again soon and start our, our road ride to Valle de Banderas. All right so we're in the little town of Valle de Banderas. Beautiful little town. Um, and the crazy thing is, for <laughs> almost nine or ten plus years of riding here, before last year, um, we would just basically ride by this town, and most cyclists do. All the roadies here, no one ever comes into this town, and it's uh, a beautiful little town. So anyways, one day I just turned off on a gravel road just before this road, and kind of connected to another town called San Jose de Valle, and then I started coming in here with groups because this is the paved part and I'm like this is spectacular so now we're gonna go check out the town center and go find some tacos I'm sure we're gonna find something delicious a few moments later what tour are you on today what what did your guests elect to uh, uh, take? so they kind of like the three hour the option three hour okay. yeah so, so we're that's... gonna we're gonna go all the way up to the Arroyo which is the uh, the uh, rancho the Caguamas and nice. uh, you know where we've gone. Get some birria. Uh, some birria. Well, we'll probably just have tacos here today. Maybe we'll do coconut water up there. Yeah, hydrate. Yeah, but I'm itching to go back um, with you because they have those piletas, and now they kind of like made the road. So mm -hmm. we get to like, I don't know, maybe I'll get a couple quads or something. And I mentioned this before, we just got to go there one weekend. Maybe we could take the family. Yeah. Uh, we can go up to the piletas, have a swim, and shoot some video and then come have Let's get a razor a birria feast let's get a razor let's get a razor because yeah. it could fit four yeah yeah excellent all right anyways the clients are waiting i think they're hungry they said yeah. they're maybe a little crudo today oh perfect so they need a taco yeah this yeah. is the taco cure and then we'll or get them back on their bike crudo cure crudo cure yeah all right let's go and i love this church and uh a little um did I say that on the on camera? No, you the cross? just talked to me about it right now, but yeah, you didn't so that, say it. That cross, supposedly, uh, Lily told me, that's Pepe's wife, is that was the original cross of the indigenous people that lived here. Yeah. And uh, it had nothing to do with Christ, but that was their design, and now it's just been, it's been repurposed. You guys ready for a taco? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Should we introduce our guests here? Yeah, so here's uh, Val and Keith. And they're all the way from Edmonton. So you have better right <laughs> this time. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Because uh, I introduced them on the earlier part of the ride, uh -huh. and I said they were uh, Bob and Len from uh, from Vancouver. Oh, or well, something. that's that's your uh, uh, in-laws. In yeah, like, yeah. So my, my mind has gone to mush because <laughs> yeah, of COVID. Yeah. All right, Bob, nice to meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you yeah. I'm Paul. Hi, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Think we're there. That looks like birria. That looks like lengua. Oh, it's lengua. Lengua. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I eat picante. Eh? Okay. Okay, nice. Nice. Well, let's go serve up our uh, clients. All right. Provecho. Oh, okay. Oh, get there. There you guys go. We'll let you, uh, you lovers, uh, lovebirds, have a. So what um, what kind of meat is this? Uh, well, it's going? beef. Okay. And I'm giving you a local delicacy, which is um, tongue, beef tongue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for it, man. All right. Provecho. He loaded it up, eh? Hmm. It's really, really good. It's very um, 
Um, uh, tender. <laughs> but here they use everything, so you could get the labio, the lengua, the cheeks. It's called tacos de cabeza, head tacos. And some people like they eat everything. The eyes. Uh, I haven't got to the eyes yet. No. Not the hard Taco de ojo. I've had the lips though. Are good. Yeah. The cheeks are delicious. Very okay. tender. Yeah. We eat something in Canada called pickerel cheeks. Yeah. They're delicious. What is it called? Pickerel cheeks. Oh, okay. From what Manitoba. Is that? The cheeks of the pickerel fish. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. it's, a it's a walleye, freshwater white fish. Yeah. It's um, well, number one, it's a really good fish. Yeah. But the cheeks are delicious. What do you guys think about this lengua? It's different, eh? It's, yeah. it's different. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. And then you probably like, no. wouldn't have told. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Would have yeah. been totally fine. But you know, the beef is beef. Mm -hmm. Beef is beef. <laughs> So Joel, you were telling me a little bit about the history of, of this place. Did you tell them already? Well, um, I don't know if we told you. Maybe when we were on the ride with Lily, I think we did. So okay. like, there was like three different indigenous groups that lived in this whole area. And then one indigenous group were hunters, others were farmers, and the others were fishers. Mm. And um, anyways, the, when the Spanish came, before the Spanish came, that's who essentially lived here. And you can see... That's basically a replication of the indigenous people. And the cross that's on that gazebo in the church was their original cross, so it had nothing to do with Christ. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I wonder what, what the significance of their cross is. That's the question. Exactly. For another episode. For another episode. Because <laughs> we, we don't have the answer. Do you, you guys happen to know? <laughs> no. No? no. Uh, I want to know why all the quick? dogs yeah. in Mexico are so happy. Why are they happy? Yeah. Oh, I know why. Why? Because they're in Mexico. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks again, everybody, for joining us on another Taco Tuesday. This episode is brought to you by Velo Guide, uh, which connects you with a bike like this or yeah. like that, Just and like a guide this. like me in 70 plus countries around the world. So the next time you're traveling and you want to get your ride on, go visit veloguide.com or download the mobile app and uh, search out a guide, like, because uh, it's a local expert, right? And then you get to actually discover the real way to ride in the city or town or place or country that you're going to. I think that's it. It was a cool idea and it still is a cool idea. And uh, uh, so give some love to Velo Guide. Yeah, uh, we, we got crushed with the pandemic. Yeah, so we need more people to like book some rides around the world Totally. We'll see you again this Saturday when we're gonna give away another week stay in Bustrias, Mexico with MaraviaNayarit.com and on that note Nos vemos hasta luego and adios desde Valle de Banderas. Yeah, that's where we are. That's where we are. All right. <laughs> adios <laughs>